And we just need a little little snout. And then we just need some ears. And it 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 doesn't look like a it doesn't look like a pig at all. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, I'm so bad at this. What's going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks to ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. And today we are going to be taking a look at the fabulous Printer Block Mod. Now this is a kind of a mod which is meant more for creative mode, I feel. And I don't really do that many of these mods, just because there aren't too many of them around. But this is really, really cool. And what it kind of revolves around are, you know, pixel art creations, which... Uh, I, we have a Minecraft server, by the way, called thanksyear.net, and we have a creative world in that, and some of the pixel art that people create in there is absolutely amazing. I, I have no idea how to do it so well. Um, but yeah, this is going to really help you with your pixel art creations, and it also kind of has like a 3D printer style thing where you can create these multi-layered pixel art images in your Minecraft with much, much easier methods than just placing every single block by hand. So, this is the block itself here, and I've just taken this directly from the creative inventory, um, because I kind of feel this is a bit cheaty in survival mode, because effectively it's just like an infinite wool farm. Um, but yeah, this is the block here, and effectively all you do is stick it down, and then there's an interface built into it, and then that will help you create your items. So, as you can see, we've just got like a nice huge flat land area here, and we're going to right click it, and then this is the general interface for the whole block itself. So, uh, if you actually look at the block, you can see that there's like a little arrow, which means that the, the pixel art will be going this way. And uh, this is actually the base block here, which I think is either this one or this one, right in the bottom corner. So let's double check that. Um, so what you do first is uh, you can choose the different colors that you like in order. So every different color of wool has a different color which you can select. Uh, you have an option here to change the brush size. So for example, if I click on here with one, I just do one block's worth. If I crank it up to, you know, two then I do uh, like a little three by three here if I crank it up again then it goes to a five by five crank it up again to four then it goes uh, even bigger wow check that out which is four five six seven seven by seven and then if we crank it up to five then we oh god I don't think that's the biggest one there we go then we get you know the biggest size available so you can kind of choose what you want to do with this I'm not really a pixel artist so I'm going to be doing some abstract designs for you I'm going to be pulling some serious shapes uh, but yeah, let's just check this out quickly and see if this is the bottom corner. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on that and we're going to click on print. Ah, okay, so that's not the bottom corner. So as you can see, it's put some wool over there. So that is the bottom corner over here. So if we clear and we do that, uh, and then we just go to print. There we go. So this is the bottom corner of your creation. So you can choose as to which size and how big you want these to be. Of course, if you want something a little bit smaller, you build it into the bottom corner here. However, if you want something absolutely massive, then you can choose to use the whole thing as and when you like. So we do have this option here, which allows us to kind of place random colors and stuff. Let's make it pink so you can kind of see it. Um, but you could also, as well as that, uh, choose to fill. And then you can set the whole thing whatever color you want. And then you can design on top of that. Now, how you do that is you use the layer tool. So there's the plus and minus here, which means you can go at one layer at a time. Or if you want to make something that's like really spaced apart, so kind of like a 3D element to it. You can choose this one, which will go up 10 layers at a time. So you can make these things as big and as crazy as you want. Um, but yeah, let's kind of show you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to make like a floating one. So we're not going to use any background for it and we're just going to go all abstracty with it and we're going to pick some colours. So let's go for a size 4 brush and, uh, oh god, hang on, let me get rid of Phil. There we go, happy days. So let's, uh, let's do something kind of weird here. Let's try and uh, put some colours in and then what we're going to do is... We are going to start like overlapping them. So that's the first layer. And then I'm going to move to the second layer. You can kind of see the first layer a little bit in the background. And let's try and overlap some of these as well as possible. Um, let's put one up there. There we go. Uh, let's go to the next layer. Let's do purple. Uh, let's overlap that. Let's overlap that. Let's stick another one here. Uh, let's go to green. Let's do next layer. Let's do this, 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 and this. Uh, let's go to the next layer. Let's go. Um, what should we go with? What haven't we been with? Uh, red. Have we done red? I think we've done red, haven't we? I can't remember. Oh, we can scroll through and have a look. No, we haven't done red yet. Okay, so let's do red. Dun -bum. And then finally, let's do one more. Let's do blue. So let's go to the next layer and we'll go boom, 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 boom. 
All right, so when you finish, what you do is print, and da -da, as you can see, what will happen is it will pop up with your uh, exact copy of what you've done in whatever size you've chosen to do it. So I'm kind of filling out more of the canvas than you, you can do. I'm sort of doing quite a big one. But as you can see, you can very, very quickly generate these really, really awesome 3D sculpted um, pixel arts, basically. Now, of course, because it is pixel by pixel and you can choose to make the more conventional ones, so, uh, you know, I'm sure there's schematics and stuff that you can use to help you with this, but... Uh, I think this is really, really awesome, and this could be made a great mod for someone who maybe is either doing creative builds or maybe designing some kind of weird um, map or maybe designing some kind of mini games. This is going to be a really, really great tool in order to, to help you do that. So what I also want to show you is that the full size of the canvas is pretty damn big. So if we go to a next layer, so let's put this right on the back, and if we go to fill, and then we fill it, I don't know, let's fill it white, and we print that. As you can see, you can manually add more layers into it as you go. So there we go, you can add like a full, and this is the full canvas size, so it's pretty damn huge, I've gotta say. And uh, you know, you can choose to do whatever you want with it, which is really, really sweet. So let's actually, uh, let's do a couple of other ones here. Let's make them a little bit smaller to kind of give you an idea. So you can choose which way you want this to, to face, depending on how you put it. So let's just do it this way as well. Um, so I kind of wanna make just like a little one. Um, so let's do, uh, da, 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 brush size. Let's do a big brush size and let's go uh, green. So let's fill that corner uh, like so. And then let's grab black and let's do a brush size with two. Um, there we go, a little slime. That's not actually even, is it? Um, <laughs> one sec, one sec. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. It's, it's a case of just sort of, there we go. That's. Let me get rid of that there. So let's go back into that brush. Let's go size two. Let's fill that in properly. Let's fill that in properly. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think so. And then let's do a little mouth. That's too big. Uh, undo. Let's do a brush size small. Let's do a little mouth like here. There we go. Print. Ta-da! So as you can see there, we've just built ourselves like a little funny looking slime thing. Uh, but yeah, I would really, really like to see what some competent pixel artists can do with this, because as I kind of mentioned, I'm not really, um, not really too into the pixel art, just because I'm not very good at it. But, you know, it's kind of cool. You can just do loads of, loads of bits and pieces and you can kind of do some builds yourself. So yeah, as I did mention, I did go on the, the server. Uh, which is thanks to your .net, and uh, I was blown away with the sheer just amazingness of some people's um, designs and stuff, which is very, very awesome. So uh, you can also do like 22 layers away. So uh, you could effectively build structures within these things if you wanted to. So like some kind of special maze style things, uh, if you know what I mean. You can kind of build the shell around it, and then you can fill it with whatever you want. <laughs> oh, or you can make some kind of really cool parkour things with them. Oh my god, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah you could do parkour. You can do like special parkour um, uh, courses using this, which is a really great tool of doing it. And of course, because uh, you are in this kind of mode, it means that you don't have to manually sort of place the blocks um, sort of that are floating from like little towers and stuff. You can just add them in and you don't have to spend ages putting them into certain places. How the hell did you, what? <laughs> How did you get up there? Do -do 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 -do. He's dead. Um, but yeah, this is really, really awesome mod. So if you want to teach yourself a bit more about pixel art or you want to create some just random stuff or mini games or parkour courses or anything, uh, this is pretty cool. And just one more feature that I forgot to show you was... If you remember, this slime was actually only one set of blocks thick. However, there is also a copy and paste feature, which is very cool. So what I did here is I've taken this layer, and then what you can do is you actually uh, can copy it, and then you can paste it onto another layer. So as soon as you click on print there, uh, then what will happen is it will add another layer at the back. So you can kind of make things a bit chunkier if you wish to do so, and uh, you can kind of use it however you want, really. It's very, very versatile. So yeah, that's about it for this video. As I mentioned, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do really appreciate it. If we could get over a thousand likes for this really weird looking slime, then that would be awesome. He would really appreciate it, so would I. Uh, also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. We do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, thanks. Let's see ya!